Hi everyone. I've been having a good few days with my back. So today I have a little haul for you and I've actually made a little start on the wedding journal. So I've shown you this girl, haven't I? I, I could sit and do these all day. I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. But I've got to make them a bit smaller really or else they're not going to fit on a in a journal are they but look how cute she is i love her look at her she reminds me of alice in wonderland because she's got a bunny hat on you know like the white rabbit but i wanted to do her skirt in more muted colors which i did but then i thought well i do want a bit of bling on there because i am a bit of a bling a bling addict so i did put a bit of bling on there so i just wanted to show you her that i've finished I'm sat here with my hot water bottle on, yeah. I still haven't got my pain sorted out, but um, I have had a good, you know, I've had a few good days with my with my back pain, so I'm not, you know, I've been able to get a bit more done. But yeah, I have, I've been having to do, to do less, that's all. So this is a haul from Timu, the top part, and then the bottom is from Vinted. So from Timu. I got these and it says that they are book line markers. So I, you know, like they're like little tiny paper clips, but they've got all sorts of different things on them, like flowers and angels and hearts. They're just a little bit different and they're teeny tiny. I really liked them. You see that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all, I don't, I think you, you order them and you just get a random pack and they come in these little cute little tub so I got them I got this which I thought was nice I thought it'd be nice on on like journaling cards or up down the edge of a page it's musical notes look yeah look at that isn't that pretty it's musical notes but it's like on a on a on a trim I think you'd call it a trim yeah and then I mean, I have already showed this on my doll channel, so don't think I've gone crackers. I just haven't shown it on my journaling channel. So that is what it's for, journaling. So, And then I've got these, which are magnetic closures. Um, you get two little packets with one in, you know, one is one side of the closure and one is the other. They are very strong. And they're meant to... For your handbag you can just pop one on the edge of your handbag and then you press that down really tight but i thought if you can do it on on your handbag you can do it on paper so what you would do is you'd press one on there like that and press it on really tight and then you'd do the same on another piece of paper like that press it really tight and you would have a closure for your folio or your whatever for your journal anything as long as you close it like that yeah and you, you would you just press these bits down with I think you'd have to use pliers wouldn't you to close them right up but yeah they've even got like little um prongs there that would stick into the fabric so yeah that's those then I got I did actually buy three of those but Rosie Rosie decided she wanted one so she took the red one and these are one meter measuring tapes and what they are they've got inches and centimeters and they are a little key ring you can put them on your key ring I thought how handy is that to just have have about I've, I'm always wanting to measure something and I've never got a tape on me so I thought I could pop one of those in my handbag then I got this which is a little it's another little key ring. It's to go on a journal that I'm going to be making soon. It's a little bee. It's so cute. I like it. Have a look at this. I thought it would go nice on the charm dangle. Look how cute it is. Look how cute that is. It's quite big. It's actually bigger than I thought it was, but I do like it. I love that. Yeah. And then... Um, these were from Team Moo too. And these are like, they're little, they're like zip ties, but they're reusable. So you can you can close something up like that with it. You could use it as a hair bubble if you, if you so desired. 
and then it'll open up again and it is quite they are quite sturdy but i was i put some on my poly pellets this is what i use to weigh my um reborns with when i, I get them from aliexpress and i re-weigh them with this and they're brilliant so i closed that up with one and you can see that the end fell off it but i am still using it and it is working great so i'm pleased with that then these I got from Vinted. Now, these top three things are all from, the, well, four things are all from the same seller. And I I don't think I ordered these. I think she popped these in extra, you know. And they're little fairy things, look. Aren't they pretty? They're all different ones. It tells you what fairy they are. So the sweet pea fairy, I love the sweet, I love sweet peas. The white bryony fairy, the nasturtium fairy, Sweet peas again, the pansy fairy, uh, the rose fairy, the hip rose fairy, the fuchsia fairy. Aren't they just gorgeous? They're small. They'd look great on a, um, you could put them on a journal card, couldn't you? The chicory fairy. And you could put what they are. You could leave the name of what they are on them, couldn't you? The Shirley Poppy Fairy, or else you could just cut them out and not have that on there. But I think the idea is you cut cut across there and then you can put it, put them on your, well, whatever you want to put them on. The Yew Fairy, the Holly Fairy, the Daisy Fairy, oh, the Blackberry Fairy. There's a few there, whether they're all the Blackberry Fairy, but they're, they're stuck together, yeah. Three blackberry fairy. Aren't they lovely? Nasturtium. Christmas tree fairy look. Beautiful. The pink clover fairy. I do love the clover one. And the sweet pea. Sweet peas. I love the smell of sweet peas. Almond blossom fairy. And there's two or three of them there, look. It's not just one. Spindleberry fairy. I've not heard of a spindleberry. The rose we've had, haven't we? Got like a little bit of pink on the edge of them and this there was four of those the nasturtium we've had the rose christmas tree fairy so pretty lilac fairy look at the lilac holly pansy holly shirley i've not heard of the shirley poppy fairy i've not heard of shirley poppy and then we've got lavender Oh, look at the lavender fairy. Look at that. Look at that, Tammy. Lavender fairy, look. Oh, pansy, pink clover. I love the clover. I've told you that already, haven't I? Nasturtium, tulip, snowdrop, almond blossom. Those into journal cards. And I may um, pop some in to happy mail too you know for my journaling friends look at the back of this this is a mini decoupage pad and these bits were you know she did say she'd started using some of the bits so but look at that that whole page is the decoupage for this you make the whole thing up but aren't they lovely i this is santoro it's not the gorgeous santoro gorgeous but it's still santoro and i love you know anything santoro the Gorgeous is my absolute favourite, but yeah, I love anything Santoro. Look how gorgeous that one is. It's got little goldfish there, look. So it tells you what to do, look. One, two, three, four, five, and then five again. Yeah, so you'd put, you'd put this one onto there, then that one onto there, and so on, until you piled it all up. And it looks 3D then. Personally, I don't like these bits that go on the face. They To me, they don't look right. I put that bit on though, the starfish. Yeah. I love those little goldfish down the side. Look at that one. That's unusual. I've not seen her before. Yeah. So it does tell, it tells you how to do it. It's so simple. You just need some of those little foam dots, those glued foam dots. And you use those, it does show you on the back, and I think we have got all of those. So, yeah, she didn't use many, did she? 
Then I got these. Now, I have to say, I've never actually used these, but I absolutely love them. And I'm going to make it my mission to use some because I've got a load of them. Because I, every time I see them, I buy them because I love them. These are flower fairies again. So we've got, um, it's not telling you who they are. So it's from the estate of Cicely May Barker, it says. Um, it says 1996. Yeah, the estate of Cicely Mary Barker, not May, Mary, I always say May. Um, and it just says flower fairies, but it doesn't tell you what flower fairies they are. So I've got two, there are, there are a few of those. Then we've got just some, well, not just some, you've got some gorgeous flowers. You could decoupage those, couldn't you? Because they're very similar. You could like, you know, cut, I could cut that rose out and pop it onto there or, yeah, you could do. Then there's these ones that are nautical look. Look at that shell. So pretty they are. Then there's these ones. There's two of those. Then there's the ones with the little hands look. Aren't they pretty? And there's a pansy, a rose. Yeah, what look like bluebells or forget-me-not, something like that. Then there's these little girls look. I think those two are the same. And those two are the same, but those two are different. Yeah. That one has had a piece taken off it, but I think the piece is in there. Then there's these. Very St. Edmund, it says. Matlock Press. Reproduced from the archive collection. Oh, Mamlock Press Limited, 1993. Wow, 1993. 30 years old. Look at those. They're so cute. I love them. And I love these, like, cherubs and angels. Look at those. I love them all. Then we've got some more flower fairies. Look at those. Yeah, really pretty. These ones with the children and cherubs again. And yeah, that one's in a little boat, like a boat bed. They're just gorgeous. Another one of those. I really must set my mind to using. I think I've used some, but I've, I've used barely any and I've got loads of them. I just love them. I've been hoarding them is what I've been doing. Look how cute. Look how nice that one is. That'd make a nice cover on a book, wouldn't it? It's quite big, though. Yeah, so there's lots of those and there's lots of, like, the flower fairies. I think they've used these ones off of some of them, but that's fine. I've got loads here, haven't I, that I can use. Look at these brightly coloured. They'll be great in my bright journal, won't they? Look at that, little girls playing dress up with their toys. Like, I love that. Then the cherubs again. More cherubs. Love the cherubs. Then uh, two little boys in sailor suits playing a lot. And then there's a ship at the top there. And then more florals. Then this is a pack that was started. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this whole, whole lot. Because that those three things and this all came from the same seller right so for the whole lot i mean i have bought a lot of things from this lady but for the three items i paid four pound fifty four pound fifty for this all of these and that and all of those and it was only for three things she sent me the those extra she sent me those little Thingy cards extra. How good is that? Honestly, I paid less than a fiver for them. I had paid a fiver just for this. It does have bits missing. It says 48 pieces, but the only bits I can see that are, that are missing when I went through it were these, and I do have those. So, um, I love this look. Look at the presentation of that. And when you take these out, and I love how it closes up with Velcro as well. So I popped a few things in each um, in each thing, but when you take them out, look what you've got. Look, it's like a framed picture, isn't it? One's at the top and then the middle one's at the bottom for some reason. And then this one's at the top. 
yeah that end one wasn't didn't have anything in it but look at those look at those pictures Santoro are fantastic for making their packaging reusable. I mean, you, there's nothing in, on earth to stop you from using that to make a birthday card with, is there? Or a picture to hang on the wall. And then if you look inside there, you can see there are other pictures to cut out. Yeah, and the same, I'm guessing, the same inside all of them. Yeah, there are other pictures all around the edge here that you can cut out and use. I absolutely love how they do that. This is showing you everything that's in there. And this on the back is um, A4 Ultimate Die Cut and Paper Pack. For more project, I project ideas, visit docraft.com. So look at all these things you can do. Look, you can, I mean, you can um, buy things to make. I've got these. I've got these um photo albums I've got a pen holder but aren't they just well they're gorgeous I know they're called gorgeous but I absolutely love them so I was going to show you what I actually got in there like I say I'd have paid 450 just for this so we've got papers these papers that are lovely and I and I just love that they're different and I'll be able to use those in journals and all sorts the bigger ones I could probably fold in half you know but yeah, look at these ones. They're like a sea, bit of a nautical or, or sea theme. Look at the one with the flowers around it. So pretty. The whole thing is just so pretty. Yeah, I think it was upside down. I'm not sure. I think it's probably the same either way up. Yeah, that one's got daisies on it. I love the deep, deep colours in them. More florals. Yeah. And then we've got some spots. Love the spots. And some of their papers are great for um, steampunk. I popped a few of them in my steampunk um, collection pack. I'm packing, you know, saving stuff to make various journals and steampunk is one of them. And then these are all the bits that you can use to pop out. So we've got like little labels here you can pop this out and fold it up to make a little envelope you could put some coins in it or something as a gift you can pop all of these out to use to decorate things with they're just so pretty same with these you just pop them out you can decorate your journal with them these are like little tags to put on gifts Look at these, you can use these on cards or on journaling cards. Even these little bits in the middle, they've decorated so that you can pop them out and use them. That's the same. They're just, I absolutely, can you tell I'm a big fan of Santoro Gorgeous? And then here again, precious little things. It says gorgeous moments. These little things you can pop out and put in your journal. Absolutely no trouble. These round ones are lovely, aren't they? I just absolutely i'm obsessed obsessed with this santoro gorgeous little oval ones there and more tags even some bookmarks on that one tags on this one different shapes different little small things in this they don't leave any space uncovered do they they're just fabulous love 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 these are envelopes you'd pop those out and fold them and then you can put a little picture in the middle there so you might put something like this picture or that one yeah you could do that couldn't you and again the little circles you can use again more envelopes you can pop things inside and things on the, well you could write on there couldn't you look at that so pretty just the tiniest little things all the little details i love 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 look little hearts there look and a heart there just so cute that's the same and then that look at that big one there that would make a great journal card wouldn't it because on the back they're just plain white yeah i would i'm going to use some of these in your journal tammy for journaling cards these are page edges look well i would use them as page edges look how pretty they are there's some really gorgeous ones again more beautiful cards look at these 
Tammy's a big fan of Santoro too, aren't you, Tammy? So, yeah, we've got those, two of those. And then that one, another, this is another envelope one. So you could fold up your envelope, pop some cash inside for a gift, and then you could pop a little card in, like, say, this little card here and write on it, or you can write on the back here too, so-and-so, love, so-and-so. Yeah, they're such cute little things, aren't they? To pop inside a birthday card even. Yeah, that one's a bit bigger, look. Yeah, love it. And then in here... I've got more stuff I've been getting off of Vinted. Not all Santoro gorgeous, but uh, some of it is. Some of it's Santoro again. Here we go. So, this is called Eyelash Trim, and it's really pretty on a... that I don't know where that sticker's come from, but it's pretty on, like, the edge of a... on the edge of a... Um, a journaling card or a tag or you can use it as the little string you put through the hole in a tag isn't it just so cute I didn't have any of that well I have I've got a ball of white but I wanted the different colors so I, I, I ordered that and I also ordered these I think I paid more than 450 for this lot you know there's um the pink cards I think there's four or five different ones and they're 125 a card so 125 for the pack rather one two three i think there's five and you pay 125 so it's 25 pence for a, which is a, a great price isn't it and then these nice i love the color of these love it like the aqua green really pretty they are so i know i paid 125 each for those I'm, i think i paid about 250 for that so yeah, I paid more for that than I did from that other big parcel I got from there, didn't I? Then I got this. Ah, I love this. It's by Graphics 45. I do love Graphic 45 things. Um, these, this was all from one one um person as well. These three were all from one person. I'll show you those in a minute. And then all of these, those four were one were one listing, and then this was another fantastic prices ignore these prices on here they don't mean anything i didn't pay that i don't think i can't remember what i paid to be honest i got it so you know a few weeks ago and i'd already left feedback and everything but this is secret garden lot look at this i love these they're ready-made journal cards lot ready-made with the backing on them perfect and these papers i love the papers and the colors look at that i love that these are from the graphics. Look at that. The graphics 45. I love, love, love their papers. They're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a page of stamps, look, with that on the back. They're just, yeah, they're all backed with different colours. Look at that. With the birds on it and the bird cages. Oh, I love that. I'd cut that up to make journaling cards with it, I think. We've got these little small cards here. And you could use those, couldn't you? Cut them out and use them because the back of them you could write on. And that's what's happened here. She's cut some of them out. And it's got a little saying there. It says, if you look, if you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. And the secret garden bloomed and bloomed and every morning revealed new miracles. The secret garden was what Mary called it. She liked the name and she liked still more the feeling that when its beautiful old walls shut her in, it seemed almost like being shut out of the world in some fairy place. How lovely. Just, I mean, you, the colours and the, oh, I absolutely love, love, love. If you did a secret garden journal, you could have that on the front, couldn't you? You could just like cut that bit out and have it on the front of your journal and then you've got your journaling cards and oh things to make pockets with and little stamps and oh it's they just absolutely love 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 that i do love it and it was in like i say in a, in a bundle for 
less than a five. This is Tim Holtz. This is the only thing I own that is Tim Holtz. And it was, you know, I mean, it, they go, there are a lot of money Tim Holtz things are. And that's why I don't buy them. But I do absolutely love them. Look at that. Wouldn't that be great for a steampunk journal? Just absolutely love that. And then this one. This is a great, these are great retro papers. Look, look at the retro colours and papers in there. Aren't they lovely? And blues and yeah, they're, it's called retro. And I didn't have any retro print paper, so I'm pleased with that. This one, it it's okay. It's a garden one again. I, I, you know, I, I could take or leave this one, but it came in the pack. So, I, you know, but I, I mean, there are some pretty papers in there, look. And they're quite plain as well. So you could, I could perhaps use those to put some of those fairies on, couldn't I? For journaling cards. Actually, it's not, it's not bad, is it? It's nice quality card. And there are some really pretty images on there. So yeah, bonus, bonus. And then this is a 12 by 12 Santoro paper pack. And it just, does just have paper in it. Um, It doesn't say, oh, 22 glittered papers and 12 papers to colour in so that's 34 I don't know if the, all 34 are here I'm sure it said that they were started but th it, they've got a certain smell to them they smell like new card so we've got one these ones are for colouring in I don't know if I dare two three four five Look at these, I love them. Six. Oh, they're beautiful. Seven. Eight. Nine. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I haven't got them all, but nine, I think, or ten. Look at these with the butterflies. Ah. And there's two of each. Wow, I just love them. I love the colours they use. Oh. And then at the back, it shows you the pictures lot. You get smaller versions of them. I guess if I coloured in the smaller versions, I then could transfer it to the bigger ones, couldn't I? There's not many of the bigger ones in here, I don't think, but there is a good few of the smaller ones. And I'd know in future, I'd know, wouldn't I? Oh, here's some more of the bigger ones, look. I'd know, you know, whether to buy them or not. Look at that. It, they're so lovely. But the trouble is, what would you do with them once you coloured them in? They're so big. You'd have to make them a fold out, wouldn't you, in a journal? I think what I'd do, I'd, I'd um, colour her in, cut her out, fussy cut around her. And then she'd have to be a fold out in a journal, like in the middle so you you know once you folded her out you'd see how beautiful hopefully she was look at this one with the fishes oh love 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 and there's three of those so if i did one and fluffed it up i'd, I'd have two more to do wouldn't i yeah absolutely love it so that was those and then i got these i thought these were lovely they're like page edges and, and they were so inexpensive and there's so many different ones look in all these different colors and you know I've got my, I'm going to be making a bright journal. I mean, that's lovely colours. for. They're not bright, but they're still lovely colours. And these would be great in my bright journal, I was thinking. Yeah, love those. And of course, they can go in Happy Mail because there's so many of them. Same with these. Um, there's five of these. So... Look at them. I think there's two butterflies in, in each pack. So t 10 butterflies in all. 
Well, it says there's five, but there's not. There's more than five. There's nearer ten in there. There's at least eight. So they're the butterflies. And then the other one is quite large. They're quite large, but I'm thinking you could use them like doilies, if you see what I mean. They're meant to be small. They're meant to be... Um, like large flowers but you could use them the same way as you would use a doily in a journal and she's got them at a pound each but I certainly didn't pay that look at them they're just lovely that little white one especially but um like the orange one I could use in my bright journal the gold one I could the turquoise so yeah so that was my haul and then I just wanted to show you that I have actually started on the wedding journal Let me show you. So what I've done is got it covered. This is the colour of the bridesmaid dresses. So I've popped that on there. I'm going to put some other decoration on there, dangling down, but I haven't decided what yet. Then I've done the inside of the cover like this. And there was another piece of paper the other side of that that I couldn't cut off. But I am going to put a pocket on here, right up to there, that things can be slipped into. And you won't see that bit there. And then I, on the back, you can see how that's similar. And I will do the same. I'll put another big pocket on there. Let me see. Let me show you what papers I've got. I have got some new... Um, I don't know whether I've shown you them or not. Let me see. I mean, obviously, I won't, I won't use them all. But I was thinking, how nice are they? These ones... And these ones, not the yellow, that's a bit too uh, out the way, isn't it? But these are all lovely colours and they're different. Pop that somewhere else. To go into my, into my wedding journal, these ones especially I liked. And I can put that across there as a pocket. You know, I'll make it a really deep pocket up to there. Um, and I can decorate it with a few bits and pieces and I'll do that on each side and it'll just cover up that little bit there. Otherwise, um, I am happy with the cover and I put that there so that the glue from the edge didn't, you know, go on to the rest of the journal. So yes, um, I've no excuse now. I, I know what I'm going to put on here. It's going to be these cards. So yeah, and then... Um, you know, to put like big things in and that and I can decorate it. Yeah, so I've started. <laughs> I've started. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.